The summer months pose the biggest threat for spinal cord injuries. Looking at Lake Travis right now, lake levels across central Texas are at record lows, increasing the risk of doing some serious damage to your body. Joining us this morning is Dr. Roger Partha Sarathy with Seton and Daniel Curtis. And Daniel suffered a devastating spinal cord injury three years ago. Good morning to both of you guys. Daniel, start us off by telling us what happened three years ago. Well, um, you know, I grew up in Austin and I've uh, been out to the lake several times and um, had a lot of close calls. My injury actually happened in my own backyard pool, mm -hmm. um, which I had shallow dove into, uh, you know, easily more than 100 times. And in this instance, I, I was playing with a dog and I slipped while diving in. Um, I shattered my six cervical vertebrae. I ended up, uh, you know, I was unable to get to the surface, so I ended up drowning. Um, and fortunately, there were some folks there that uh, that came out and saw me floating, uh, pulled me out, gave me CPR, and a uh, second chance at life, so mm -hmm. to speak. And then you met Dr. Roger. We'll leave it at that because your last name is a, is a little difficult to say, but good morning to you. Good morning. So you met uh, Daniel, and you meet many patients like Daniel. I do. Uh, unfortunately in that mm -hmm. circumstance, yes. How common are spinal cord injuries and why is this time of year the biggest uh, time for them? Statistically, there are about 40 spinal cord injuries per million population in the U.S. and in uh, the greater Austin area there's probably about uh, between 40 and 50 per year. Mm -hmm. They tend to occur more commonly in the summer because people are more active and out in the summer. Many of the uh, uh, reasons why people have spinal cord injuries. Uh, the number one cause is probably motor vehicle accidents, so there are people out there driving more. The second is um, falls, so people are more active. Swimming and diving um, obviously peak in the summer, and uh, they uh, cause a good number of spinal cord injuries, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And particularly, as, as you described, with lakes being low, and also natural bodies of water tend to change their depth. So even though it might have been safe two years ago, people don't necessarily realize that it's much more shallow where maybe the topography has changed. Uh, and consequently, these things unfortunately occur. Mm -hmm. And Daniel, we've got some video of you a couple years ago. So this would have been about a year after the accident. Uh, take us through the recovery process and what that's been like. It's a it's a full time job. It's very intense. I mean, I think I was logging 40 um, plus hours a week at the gym. Um, you know, doing uh, occupational and physical therapy um, six hours a week. But uh, fortunately for us here in Austin, Central Texas, we have a really great recovery center um, where you can go and, and um, it's free for anybody with a spinal cord injury and um, after therapy you know you can ride these state-of-the-art bikes um, uh, Central Texas nonprofit um, Lone Star Paralysis Foundation has really helped equip that gym with a lot of the state-of-the-art equipment mm -hmm. so uh, for me it was two years 40 hours a week in there working on my hands um, you know using uh, using all the resources available to to give me the best shot at recovery mm -hmm. and you're not just sitting around doing nothing you want to help others who are in your same position sure well it's you know it's a, it's an important message and it's a it's a critical time um, a lot of folks end up kind of getting lost in the system and you typically have you know this 18 uh, to 24 month period where you have the best opportunity to um, to really get the most return so uh, it's, it's important that um, that these folks find us as soon as possible and so yeah part of part of what I do now um, and, it, and you know I feel like I'm just returning the favor that was shown to me is is getting out there and making making sure these newer injuries are aware of us um, so we can we can uh, connect them with the resources they need to you know to get out and live life because it can really feel a bit like a death sentence um, you know you're paralyzed you can't use your hands you're stuck in a wheelchair mm -hmm. um, but there's a lot more to life than that you know and it's uh, for me it's it's interesting to think back you know three and a half years ago I'm actually living a more um, fruitful and satisfying life now mm -hmm. in a wheelchair without my hands than I was when I was um, when I was an able-bodied person, you know, um, with a successful career. So wow. that's that's part of the message that I'd like to get out there is there's hope. Mm -hmm, for sure. And the nonprofit that you help with? Yes. Yeah, so it's Lone Star Paralysis Foundation. They mm -hmm. just they made me a board member last year, and we're having um, we have a, a few annual event, fundraising events, but uh, August seventh coming up is is the Pay It Forward event, which was initially my fundraising event that my colleagues and the culinary community here in Austin um, put together while I was 
years in, in the intensive care unit, and it was so successful that um, we decided to carry it on. So this is actually going to be the fourth year, and it's uh, it's got a really great um, chef showcase. Uh, Uchi, Uchiko, Congress, mm -hmm. uh, a multitude of great chefs, open bar, free parking. Um, the Spasmatics is going to be the band, and then we do a live auction, a silent auction, and I am your EMC, so I'll be I'll be up on stage kind of running the show. Say more, Daniel. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a event. really, it's a great event. You can't Yeah, go we're going to have more information about that event on our website at kxan.com. So, Daniel and Dr. Roger, thank you for being here this morning. Thank, thank you. you for having us. We'll be right back.